The following is a fan based narrative. Please support the official release. Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. in the world of sports. Buckball Fever has swept Equestria. Wait, that's still something they do? How come we've literally never heard anything about it since the one episode we saw this played, but apparently it's big enough to have national organizations now. And the ponies of Appaloosa answered the call, delivering a state-of-the-art locale where fans Equestriova can celebrate their passion. The Buckball Hall of Fame! That's not how building works, like, at all. You don't completely complete a structure and then build the next floor. You start with a stable base and then you build on top of that. The Buckball Hall of Fame! Though, given the game's recent nature, the only inductees so far will be the members of the current championship team from Ponyville. Why bother making a Hall of Fame and induct a single team? Is there even a league? And if there is, surely there have been other teams that have dominated too. They can't just all play Ponyville every single game. I can't believe the ponies of Appaloosa built this place. Yeah, especially after their team lost to us. They lost to you, like, years ago. How much of a sore loser do you think they are? Yep, it does. How much for an autograph? Bits for autographs, eh? Normal dollar signs to represent getting bits, which are gold coins. If only my single dollar bills were equivalent to gold coins. I never thought I'd get to be in anything like a Hall of Fame. Me neither! Unless you count a Royal Order of Party Planners Memorial Library, which <laughs> I don't, because every party planner gets one of those eventually. Apparently, if it's a memorial, you eventually get it when you die, because it's a memorial. Apparently you get more recognition for being a buckball star than saving the world multiple times and being friends with the rulers of said nation that you're in. I'd say their priorities are misplaced, but just look at our world. We do the same thing. As usual, grossly unproportional exchange rate of bits. I mean, what? You get a full bag of gold coins for an autograph. This person only uses a handful of gold coins and gets the same print on a hat. And that's also not writing, so I'm not sure why snails complain about writing. This is literally just an ink splotch. We can't play without him, and if we lose or forfeit one game, we'll be out of the tournament. That's not how tournaments work, like at all. You don't instantly get kicked for losing one game in the start. Oh, Dash, fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting me? I'm a sports pony, of course I'd be here. What's fancy is you being here. If Fancy meant confusing. Didn't he help you rescue Daring Do? He might not be the most sporty pony, but he clearly has some athletic capabilities. Oh, sure, but with all the buck bucking and the balling uh, on the buckball field, which is where they play buckball. Take a shot every time they see buck in this episode. Also, remember when buck used to be a substitute for another word? Too. Wait, is that Twilight's dad in the background? <laughs> what? I don't know what any of this stuff is. See this? I, I don't know what it is. A ball? What, and this? I, uh, no idea. Ha, <laughs> I get it because he's not into sports. No it's a basket. How do you not know what these are? I'm not even 100% sure what bucking is. I literally know nothing about buckball or any other sport. Neither are we. And, to be honest, the implications could be huge, given the title for Applejack's job. I really want things with Clear Sky to work out, but if Wind doesn't like me, I, I might as well give up. Uh, why? They're a family. Even if it's okay with Clear Sky, I wouldn't ask them to make me a part of it if Wind Sprint isn't on board. Aren't you two just dating? Who's talking about being part of the family that soon? Here. <clears throat> give it a shot. It's easy. Playing buckball in a museum, because that's exactly what I'm sure all the employees would allow you to do. Of course, being a Wonder Bull takes up most of my time, so I don't get to practice as much as I'd like. Wait, you're Rainbow Dash? The Wonder Bull? How did they not know that this was Rainbow Dash? She's 
not exactly hidden here with her rainbow mane. That sounds awesome. Oh, but first, I got you a little surprise. Oh, a book. Every child's favorite gift, the book. I know, I, I never realized there was so much math in book ball. I, I mean, this game's got more numbers than ogres and oubliettes. <laughs> The episode is filled with all of these not funny, I'm not a sports pony jokes. They won't get any better or any more funny. And the writers will just keep on making them. Just needs to see your sporty side. I don't have a sporty side. Every pony has a sporty side. And we're gonna find yours. Every pony should have a functioning brain and be able to tell what a ball is. But seeing as how he lacks that, I don't think there's a single sporty pony bone in his body. Uh, I have a 17 charisma, right? Don't you think I tried? She doesn't even like Daring Do. She thinks she's not athletic enough. What? How is Daring Do, the person who routinely fights monsters and escapes traps, not athletic enough? Uh. And Ow. This isn't being unathletic. This is being handicapped. Speed. Speed. Go! Speed, 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 speed. Whew. Okay, what a race, right? When a horse can't run, aren't you supposed to put them down? If we had time to train, I know I could mold you into the perfect sports pony. Uh, or at least a sportier pony. Not sure how him knocking over the stack of books leads to a loss of confidence from Rainbow Dash? I mean, it's the best show of strength he's done all day. I guess Fluttershy also apparently got over her massive stage fright, or either that or the writers conveniently forgot that's a huge part of her personality. If you're gonna tell me, oh, she grew out of it, no, because they always revert back. Oh, I've just been arranging for us to hang out with a few of my close friends from Team Ponyville. That is, if Wynn's up for it. Isn't this the same as buying your wife's son's love and affection? Ooh, so this is Quibble Pants. Quibble Dash told us all about how you two spent a whole Daring Do convention geeking out together about books. And even though at first she thought you were the most annoying fan pony she ever met, you two eventually became friends. Sets glorifying reviews. The main six truly are the perfect wingmen. For the tournament halftime show, you and Quibble are gonna play a game of buckball against Team Ponyville. We're what? The way to show how sporty you are is to have a bunch of novices play against the professional players. Yes, that surely will just end in all the praise and glory. Uh, you should probably stretch. No amount of stretching is gonna make this okay. What were you thinking? During the whole conversation, the crowd has yet to stop cheering. Guess warming up is really exciting in Equestria. I already talked to Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. They're totally gonna make you look good. The element of harmony, plotting to throw the match to make someone look good. Isn't this tantamount to them cheating? <laughs> Two palette swaps right next to each other. Is this season one again? Apparently, he can run and kick now, but before, he couldn't even do anything. It says very clearly on page 647 of the expanded buckball tournament rules that a goal is scored when an earth pony sends the ball into a basket, but it doesn't say which basket. How does it not say which basket to score it? That seems like a huge oversight. I was just trying to get her to like me. I know, but I told you you didn't need to. You and I have to rethink all of this. Why is the mother upset about this? Why even give him a stern look? Your daughter is being a brat. 